you can increase every single one of your skills to 100 within just five minutes of starting a brand new game in Fallout New Vegas. And in this video, I will show you how. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. So as you can see, I haven't left the doctor's house yet. This is a brand new game. So go ahead, speak to the doctor and just make your way outside the house. So go ahead and leave the house. Once you've left his house, what you want to do to activate this glitch is to go to the edge of this whole Good Springs area and trigger the rebuild character dialog box. And when that happens, we're going to try and force the rebuild character dialog box to basically appear in an infinite loop. And while it's looping, every time we select the skilled trait from the traits select screen, it will increase every single one of our skills by, by five points. And it's basically as simple as that, but we need to do something for that to actually happen. So what we're doing is as we left the doctor's house, we're going to basically travel northeast and get to a very specific point in this area where we're going to quickly create a save file. And I'll tell you the steps, steps straight after that. So when we get to around here, what we will do is go ahead and quickly save the game. And from here, what we're going to do is continue to walk northeast right next to that rock. And as we're walking, what we want to do is open and close the pit boy. The state we want to get to is a state where the pit boy is sort of open on the screen whilst the dialogue box appears for the rebuild character. So as you can see here, the rebuild character dialog box has appeared, but the pit boy is not visible on the screen. So the glitch won't work. So what we need to do is load up our save file and basically try again. So as you can see, that didn't work. So what I'm going to do is try again until I have the pit boy open on the screen whilst the dialog box is also open on the screen. So again, just open and close your pit boy until you manage to get it. And there you go. So you would have noticed that it took me a fair amount of time, but I did manage to do it. So before we go any further, let's quickly talk about what's actually happened. So as I was sort of walking out of that game, Good Springs area, I was opening and closing the Pip Boy in the background. And I was hoping that I would basically get to this state here where the Pip Boy is pretty much fully open on the screen and yet I can rebuild my character. Now, something to note, when I select this rebuild character, you will notice that the Pip Boy in the background will actually move down by a couple of centimeters, not by a lot. It's very subtle, so keep an eye on it. So I don't know if you noticed, but the pit boy moved down a little bit. The reason I'm mentioning this is as long as the pit boy is actually visible on the background, you will be able to continuously loop this rebuild character dialogue selection of screens. So each time we rebuild, the pit boy will move slightly down. Now, putting that to a side, we are now on the select your special points. So just go ahead and select any, it doesn't matter. And when we're on the skilled page, what we will do just to make things easy is that we will just set the bottom three just so that we can keep a track of the top numbers here. So as you notice, all the top numbers here are 20, 20, 20 and so on. Some are 30 and so on. So keep a track of these numbers. On the traits screen, this is the most important bit really. Go ahead and make sure you select the skilled trait with any other trait that you want. I usually just go for Wild Wasteland. Now you will notice that we are back on the rebuild character screen. Now, usually when we are on this screen, you also have another section to this whole dialogue system, and that is to change the appearance of your character. But notice that isn't actually an option. We are only on the rebuild character, i.e. being able to distribute our special points and traits and skills and so forth. So again, go ahead and select the rebuild character and again, notice as we select it, the pit boy in the background will move down by a little bit. Now notice that your special points have now all been reset to five. Again, just go ahead and put them in anything. 
And this time notice that every single one of your skills has actually increased by a total of five. And that's pretty good. That's what we're trying to do. So again, select the done button. And this time when it comes to traits, again, select skilled and some other trait. Again, I'm just going to go with wild wasteland. And now notice we are back on the rebuild character. So we've basically gone through this loop twice now. So again, we'll go through this loop one more time. And again, notice that the pit boy in the background will go down by a little bit when we select the rebuild character option. Again, go ahead and distribute your points in any special, doesn't matter. And now notice that again, all of our skills have gone up by five again. When we're on the trait screen, go ahead and select skilled and wild wasteland and move on. So we're going to repeat this about three or four times and you will get an idea of exactly what's happening. So rebuild character, the pit boys move down a bit. Every single skill has gone up by five. We're going to select skilled and wild wasteland. Again, we're going to repeat. Notice that the pit boy will go down again. Put your special points. Again, notice every single point has gone up by five. And again, select skilled and wild wasteland. So the reason I'm mentioning this whole pit boy thing is pretty important is as soon as the pit boy moves off screen. So every time you rebuild your character, at some point your pit boy will fully move away from your screen. When that happens, you will not be able to go through this mechanism anymore. You will not be able to trigger the infinite loop of rebuilding your character. So what we'll do is we will just carry on all the way until I basically take every single skill up to 100. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through this loop on my own and we'll just sort of skip to that part of the video. So now notice I have gone through the loop a number of times now and now I am at 95 but also notice in the background that the pit boy is just about to disappear but I think I should be able to do this one more time. So again I'm just going to go ahead and select wild wasteland and skilled go back into rebuild character and this time given that everything's going to be at 100 this time I won't just randomly distribute my specials I'll put them into something that is a little bit more meaningful to me. So I'm just going to just do this and keep it at that. And now notice that everything has now changed. So what? So this is actually pretty important. So what we need to do is go and select everything again. And again, just go ahead, select Wild Wasteland and Skilled. Select Done and now select Finish. And now if we have a look at our stats, you will notice that we are at level one. We have been able to distribute our special points however we wanted and every single skill is at 100. So this is basically the steps that you need to take to get every single skill at 100, to be able to distribute your special points however you wish and to do all of this at a sum total of level 1. And this is all achievable within practically 5 minutes of starting a brand new game. Now, before I close off the video, a quick announcement. This glitch was actually suggested by Tana Strickland. So Tana, thank you very much. This is a glitch that I have known about for a while, but I was just taking my time because I'm sort of covering three different Fallout games. But uh, Tana suggested why not cover it now? And I think that's a pretty good shout. So I decided to cover it. But really, if you think about it, this is a almost a user submission glitch by Tana Strickland. So Tana, thank you very much, buddy, for submitting this glitch. This is definitely a worthwhile one doing, and this is definitely one of probably the most broken glitch in Fallout New Vegas by, by my standards anyway, I think, anyway. As shown in this video, you can set all your skills to 100 very easily and very quickly, literally as soon as you leave the doctor's house. But did you know that you can use a different glitch to practically be able to select a perk every time you level up, as opposed to selecting one perk every two levels. Yep, there's another glitch in the game that will allow you to basically select a perk at every level instead of every two levels. To find out more on how to perform this particular glitch, click on the video you see on the screen now.